What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Craven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Okay, so off screen, I was actually training. Not really training, I was actually catching some Pokemon that I didn't catch at night. And I so happened to hatch the egg right off screen. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to call Professor Elm because he told me call him right after uh, the egg hatches. And, well, let's see what happens right here. So here it is. Hello, Draven. How is the egg? What? It hatched? Wow. What kind of Pokemon is it? Please come show me now. Well, it looks like we're going to have to travel all the way back to, um, where was it? New Bark Town. But luckily for me, I... I'm already taken care of that. I'm in Cherry Grove Town, so... Or City. How is... Seriously, how is this a city if there's like... Never mind, I'm not even gonna argue with that. You guys comment down below. I'm a little, uh... I'm a little... Whatever about that. So, here we are back in route, whatever route we are. And we're just gonna jump the ledges because, you know, why not? Let's jump the ledges. Let's get back into town. And, uh, let's see what Professor Elm has, uh, ha has in store for us. Um, of course, the Pokemon that I hatched from the egg is Togepi. We already knew it was gonna get. Uh, we were gonna get a Togepi. Um, apparently, in Generation Two, it is a brand new thing of having baby Pokemon. Togepi happened to be a, just a preview of what's to come for the uh, whole uh, baby type Pokemon stuff. So here it is. Professor Arms like Draven. You look great! Exclamation mark. What? That Pokemon? The egg hatch. So Pokemon are born from eggs? No. Perhaps all Pokemon are. Wow. There's still a lot of research to be done. Thanks, Draven. You're helping me a lot. Or, you're helping me unravel Pokemon mysteries for us. I want you to have this as a token of, my, of our appreciation. And, of course, we get ourselves the Everstone, which actually prevents any kind of Pokemon from evolving instead of just pressing that B button. Um, or to explain it, he's like, that's an Everstone. Some species of Pokemon evolve when they grow at certain levels. A Pokemon holding an Everstone won't evolve. Give it to a Pokemon you don't want to evolve. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I, that, you know, Everstone, pretty cool. Still, I wouldn't use it because I like to evolve all my Pokemon. But for you guys who are big nuts on training the Pokemon a certain way, then yeah, the Everstone might be for you. So, I'm going to fast forward, go back to, where, yeah, we're going to go back to Azalea Town. I'm not going to travel, like, on screen. So, I'll see you guys in just a Okay, so, that was a nice travel back, I guess. I don't know. It was a nice travel back. So here we are in Azalea Town. We healed up our Pokemon. We sent a few Pokemon back into the PC. That includes Togepi because we don't really want Togepi on our team. No offense if you guys are Togepi fans, but yeah, we don't want that on our team. Now here we are, Azalea Town. Time to go straight to the Alex Forge because we got business to take care of. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. There's a few things. Okay, so Lucky's on the front. Let's go. Let's do this. And before anything, ah, uh, this guy. Tell me something! Is it true that Team Rocket has con has returned? What? You beat them? Ha! Quit lying. You're not joking? Then let's see how good you are! Seriously, I don't know what, what's up this guy's you know what, but he's kinda he's kind of like, you know, a little envious, jealous, or something like that. So here we go, Silver wants the battle, and he's coming out with his Ghastly. Did I choose the right Pokemon? Yes, I did. I did choose the right Pokemon, so bring it on. And, uh, let's see. Come on. Oh, wait. Does it work on this in this generation? Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. So there you go, guys. The first paralysis of the of the full walkthrough right here. And, uh, please tell... Oh, yes, I do have a paralysis. Oh, yeah, okay. So I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. It's just, you know, I'm gonna have to use one, and hopefully he doesn't paralyze me right here again. Do not paralyze me. Okay. Here we go. So, Ghastly, the ghost type... Slash uh, poison type and what? Would you stop it? Seriously? And well, it looks like I won't be able to hit this guy because look, look, he's just like he's outspeeding me and he's critical hitting me and yeah, he's per paralyzing me. Ridiculous. But that was a critical hit. Good stuff right there. And all, all like, well, the only thing that Gasly can do right now is just lick me, which sounds really bad. I'm listening to myself right now. And uh, okay, come on. Come on, Lucky. Your name is Lucky for a good reason. And that does not work for us, so... Please tell me I have any kind of potions here. Oh yes, I have quite a few. Alright. Let's go, Lucky. Round two. You didn't hear no bell right here. And it's that lick attack. So yes, if you do capture Ghastly at this point, 
just remember, you're only gonna have one good attack, and that's the Lick attack. And, you know, it's it's a Ghost-type Pokemon move, so it's not gonna be that effective of, to a lot of Pokemon right here. So, come on. Let's go, Lucky. I'm still trying, like, I'm, I'm, I'm being the guy that's like, come on, you gotta do this. You have to win. If you don't win, Lucky, I swear, I will throw you out of the team. Not really, I'm not that cruel of a Pokemon like this guy. Okay, so it's the battle, it's a battle to the death right here. Not to the death, but you guys know what I mean. And uh, look at that, Ghastly has been defeated. Lucky nearly grows a level, which is kind of cool. Alright, so he's got himself a Zubat. I am going to go with Teddy, because why not? I probably should have gone with uh, with Cyndaquil, or Quilava, or you guys know, Cinder. Alright, so we're strong. And why are you... Yeah, I, I just realized something. He's out speeding us! This is not fair, man. And we are hurting ourselves. Okay, so we're not going to risk that. It's a good thing we have Cinder now. So, good switch out and going with Cinder. It's not. It's no problem. And, uh, well, there's that bite attack, which, you know, we don't really like. So, here we go. Get it, Cinder. Finish him. Do it for the Cyndaquil. You know what's. And, uh, yeah. I wonder how, I wonder how, uh, Silver's doing with this, with his Zubat. Did he have to struggle a lot? Because I had to struggle a lot for, for a new move and stuff. And there we go, defeat Zubat right there. And he's gonna come out with his last Pokemon, Krokona. I am not taking that risk, so let's go back to Teddy right here. Look at that. It's a beast of a Pokemon. I think I remember, I think I let you guys know that, yeah, uh, what was it, Ted the Total Dial Starter? Definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. Especially in the in the second generation, and there we go. It's a nice move, and uh, that scratch attack will do us a lot because we did get that leer on us. So now it's okay. So I gotta hope that I gotta hope that I, I paralyze this guy. Come on, let's go, Lick. Let's go, Teddy. Par paralyze him. Yes. See, you see, the shoe is in the other foot. Now I'm gonna have to heal my heal my Pokemon right here. Wow, it's a hell of a battle right here. We're all evened up, and this guy will not live me, let me live. So I'm going to continue. Well, I'm just going to give him another potion. Hopefully he doesn't hit me on the next turn. And he does because Silver is one of the luckiest Pokemon trainers ever. And let's go with multiple hits right here. Fury swipes. Let's get it. Look at that. Okay, so three good ones right there. We're on par, and ooh, this might... Okay, we've got to hope for a five-hitter right here. Come on. Let's go, Teddy. Come on. One more. And that is how you beat Krokona. Oh, my God. We almost grew two... Wow, we almost grew two levels right here, and he's like, hmm, useless Pokemon. Listen, you only go on because you, my Pokemon were weak. Huh, okay. Whatever you say. He's like, I hate the weak. Pokemon trainers, it doesn't matter. Or, or what? Yeah, I can't even read right now. I'm going to be strong and wiped out the weak. That goes for Team Rocket, too. They act, they act big and tough in a group, but get them alone, and they're weak. Well, that is true. That is pretty much true. I, I kind of agree on that. I hate them all! You stay out of my way, weakling. A weakling like you is only a distraction. Okay, I just beat you in a Pokemon battle, you a-hole. I'm flipping you off. Jesus. Okay, so we got to go back to Pokemon Center, because we just... Yeah, we just got, uh, even though that guy's a, a bit of an a-hole, he kind of put some work on our Pokemon right here, which is not good. So, there it is. Four Pokemon healed. That's good. That's good. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, so, enough of that. Pokemon are fully healed. Let's go back to the Ilex Forest, because why not? Okay, so, nothing to do right there. Ilex Forest, enter through the gate. Okay. And, uh, let's see, talk to this guy right here, he's like, Alex Forrest is big, is big, be careful, don't get lost. I won't. Right here, this lady's like, the forest is watched over by, uh, Protector, by its Protector, stay out of mischief. Now, the Protector happens to be, uh, Celebi, I think there is an event right here for Celebi. I think I did a code for it back when I, on my Draven XE 7-Eleven, I gotta go check. Comment down below if you guys watched that, if I did put that. So, if you go up right here, talk to this individual, he's like, Oh man, my boss is going to be steaming. The farfetch that cuts trees for charcoal uh, uh, took off on me. I can't go looking for it here in here in the Ilex Forest. It's too big, dark, and scary for me. 
Really? Just really? Okay, so we... I guess we're somebody else's errand boy. I don't know. But the way to get through this whole place... Yeah, it's through the uh, Tree of Doom right here that, you know, doesn't let us through. And yes, Ilex Forest is home to a bunch of uh, grass-type... Grass-type, bug-type Pokemon. You know, that kind of stuff. As you can see, Oddish is right here. Mm-hmm. I don't think I want Lucky to battle that because it is, it's is—it's four times damage right there. So I have to switch up my Pokemon. Um, let's go with the faster Pokemon right here. Toxic, Toxic Batman. Toxic Batman. Okay. So we have to look for that Farfetch. And as you can see, it's right there. You touch him. He's like, it's the missing Pokemon. Farfetch. Wah! So he's running away. Now you have to corner this guy. Actually, you can't corner him. You actually have to lead, lead him to the trainer. So what we're going to do is grab this Pokeball first. Look at that. We got a revive. That's awesome. Now, if I remember correctly, we have to... I think it's going to turn around somewhere. And would you look at that? It's a Venonet. All right. All right. A Vent Note Net. Get away. Leave me alone, Venonet. Do I have repels? I think it's going to take more than 100 steps to get away from here. Yes, I do have a repel. So I'm going to use that just so I won't get... I won't be bothered at for, for, for the moment. And if you go right here... The Farfetch, where will it go? Let's see... Hmm... If you go behind it right here, let's see what happens. No, it goes back up. So, we're going to have to try a different method. There's a different method right here, I think. I don't know. Follow it from behind? I don't know. Right here? That's right. Still from behind. It might turn right. Nope. It is going... Alrighty. Okay, so we're doing the right thing right here. Now, in Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold... Look at that. It bounced off the tree. Yeah, it might do a different thing. It might be a little difficult. And as you can see, we got Farfetch to the trainer. Talked to this guy. He's like, wow, thanks a whole bunch. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Well, you think? You think? What's up, Farfetch? How you doing, homeboy? Talk to this guy. He's like, ah, my Farfetch. You found it for this kid? Without it, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now you can. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. We received the HM01, the move needed to cut that big old tree off. And he's like, that's that's the cut HM. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear the small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from the Azalea gym to use it. That is cool. That is very, very cool. And, uh, all right, let's see. Let us see. So we got two HMs right here. Right now we don't need Flash, but let's see who can learn, the, who can learn this move. Actually, Teddy can and Cinder can, but I am not trying. Like I'm trying not to teach those two to them. So the repel wore off, and I'm going straight back. Wow. Really? You know what? Why? Why go back? Why go back? How about let's catch the Oddish right now? Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and catch an Oddish and use that cut technique on him. You know, it's only fair, right? Um, okay, so that took a little bit. And he absorbs that energy back. Look at that. Okay, so... You know what? The more logical thing to do is... Just hit it where it is. Just bite the crap out of it. And... Gotta hit him. Oh, flinch. Gotta hit him in a, a few times. You know, to make our point. Okay, so... I think it's weak enough. And look at that. The sweet scent. Lowers our evasion right there, but it can actually be used for something else, so... Luckily, I do have quite a few Pokeballs right here, and I did get that fastball from, uh, Kurt. Okay, Oddish. Stay with us. You're part of the team for just a little bit. Look at that. So, here we have Oddish. We're not using him on our team, we're just using him as the HM slave that it could quite possibly be. So, during the day, it stays in the cold underground to avoid the sun. It grows a bit. It grows by bathing in the moonlight. Oh, okay. Well, it's like day and night. No, I'm not giving you a nickname right here. Okay, so we don't really need to go back or anything. But we will teach We will teach them the cut techniques. So, let's get this. And, uh, look at that. Oddish grew, or Oddish nose cut. Now, there's one more thing I need to get in Azalea, uh, Azalea Town. I 
just remember this. So after helping those gentlemen down uh, in the in the Alex Forest, you can go back right here to the Cutter's house or the charcoal killing. That's right. Go here and talk to this guy. He's like, you chased off Team Rocket and went to the Alex alone, Alex Forest alone. That takes some gu that, that, that takes guts. I like that. Come and train with us. Okay, not him, but let's talk to this guy. He's like, I'm sorry. I forgot to thank you. This is a charcoal that I made. Fire-type Pokemon would be happy to hold that. So, there it is, guys. We got a free charcoal by this kid right here. Now, you can buy a charcoal from, uh, right here in the Pokemart, but it actually costs like 98,000 Poke Dollars, so you probably would want that um, that free charcoal right there. So, let's go back right here to the Alex Forest. Um... Jesus. Again, I'm forgetting something. I really don't want to get bothered by any of the Pokemon right here, too. I probably should train off-screen while I'm at it. So let's go back right here. And... Okay. Are there repels? Yes, we can buy repels. Holy Jesus. Okay, so let's buy some five. Let us buy five. I don't care about the money. We'll get some more money eventually, you know. Although there are no Pokemon trainers in there. And why are you in my way, you old guy? Stop being so mean. Okay, not forgetting anything. Got everything I need. Heck yes. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we need? Okay, first and foremost, we got a charcoal. It's a hidden or held item. We can give this to Cinder now, making its ember attack just a little bit more powerful. And let's go ahead and use that repel now. And we are good to go. We do have uh, Oddish can learn uh, I guess or it actually has cut technique the cut and we can cut this yes we can bye bye no more tree of doom now if you go right here is uh, it says right here the Alex Forest Shrine it's in honor of the forest protector again I may have done the event in my Pokemon Crystal walkthrough in my Draven XC711 channel so guys remind me if I did or not I'll go check out off screen but yes there is an event for that to capture Celebi and, uh, well, there's more stuff right here. Let's see. Alex Forest is so overgrown with trees that you can't see the sky. Please watch out for items that may have been dropped. So you will be able to find some hidden items right here. Like this one. Find ourselves an X attack. It's a good, it's a good item, I guess. Um, you see many of these trees right here. Pretty good stuff. And, uh, guy on the green right there. We should be talking to him. Grab this. Find an antidote. You will find some Pokemon. They will try and poison you if you don't have any kind of ant or not antidotes, but um, any kind of repels. Now, if you go right here, the repel will go off. And uh, let's go for another hundred steps right here. Grab this. Find ourselves an ether. Much needed ether, I guess. And uh, we go down, down and up, down and up. Yeah, that's right. Down and up, down and up. Let's see what we got. Oh, this guy right here. Now, if you talk to this gentleman, he's like, what am I doing? I'm shaking trees using Ed, but it's fun. Here, you should try it too. And we receive the TMO2 headbutt. Let's see what this guy. Rattle trees with po with headbutt. Sometimes sleeping Pokemon fall out, which is true. You know, I will, let's see. Who should I teach this headbutt attack to? Now, rem remember guys, TMO2 it's not the only TMO2. You can actually go to Goldenrod City and actually buy Headbutt. So it's not going to be the last thing that, uh, the last Headbutt attack that's going to be in here. And uh, there are three Pokemon that can, can learn this. I am more, well, you know what? Once I get to Goldenrod City, I I could teach it to uh, one of, you know, who needs it more? Wow, I'm trying to decide right here. Who needs it more? Teddy's just powerful as it is. Cinder, Cinder's got, well, it's got a hit, well, you know what, you know what, let's go with Teddy right here, I'll teach my other Pokemon, uh, it's other moves uh, later on, so, Teddy, let's go ahead and take out that Fury Swipes attack, it, even though it saved us in the, in the battle against Silver, it could, you know, it's not that powerful, so now, let's go ahead and try out that Headbutt attack, a Pokemon could uh, be in this tree, want to Headbutt it, yes we can, so here we go, and nothing. Let's go right here. Come on. Nope, nothing. Man, none of these Pokemon want to come out. Or is it my repel? How about this? Let's go. Come on. Nothing. Man, there's nothing. In, look, there's nothing in the Alex Forest. Seriously. Come on. 
Get out Pokemon. Nothing. So we are very unlucky. Um let's see what kind of Pokemon can we find? Oh yeah, we can find Pineco in here. Yeah. Come on. Somebody! Nothing. Okay. Whatever. There's one more Pokemon trainer here, so let's go ahead and uh, let's see who which which one of my Pokemon nearly grew level? Not this guy. Ah, okay. So let's go with Lucky. And uh Go ahead and tell. Let's... Really? Are you serious? Uh, yeah. You still awake? This is. Uh, and, uh, I know it's you. Are your Pokemon feisty as ever? My Machop and me, we have energy to burn. We like up. And, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Lately, I've been running across while Zubat's often there. I don't care. Oh, God. Okay. Now let's resume to this this whole thing. It's like don't sneak up on me like that. You frightened the Pokemon away. Not really, you, you, your face frightened the Pokemon right there. Okay, so here it is, another, well, one Pokemon trainer. His name is Wayne, and he will be coming out with his Ladybug. Look at this, Ladybug. And, uh, my Lucky. Let's go, Lucky. Mud Slap. And, uh, yes, we are very unlucky because Lucky's not fast enough yet. Yes, a, little, a level 8 la Ladybug is faster than a level 12 uh, Whooper. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, Whooper hasn't been having a good luck right now. Well, it's getting attacked and whatnot. Come on! Okay. This is ridiculous. Why can't you attack? I got two badges. You should be respecting me. Come on. Hit him! Oh, my God. Yeah, most of the damage being done is by me. Don't get too ahead of yourself, Ladybug. Come on. Let's go, Whooper. Hit him. Oh, my God. Okay, this should be the end of the confusion, but I'm very, very disappointed right now. Okay, let's get that water gun. Finish him off. Die. No, it's a... Uh... Wow. 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 I, I, I'm like... Yeah, maybe I should have trained off screen just a little bit more. Probably should have done that, but... No. If Raven's a little too good for that. I don't know. Come on. Finish him off. This ladybug is like a tough ladybug. No critical hit. Fight to the death. Oh yes. Bye bye, ladybug. Okay, so we need to work a little bit more with with Lucky right here. Still hasn't grown any kind of a speed, which is disappointing me. So I'm gonna have to work. I'm gonna have to work on Lucky just a little bit because that that's bad. That's not good. No speed whatsoever, letting all these little Pokemon beat them around. No. So here we go. Ember attack. Thankfully, that charcoal will increase that attack just a little bit more. And, uh, yeah, bye bye. Bye bye, Paris. Bye bye. Okay, alrighty. He's like, I hadn't seen that Pokemon before. Yeah, well, whatever. A Pokemon I've never seen before fell out of the tree when I used Headbutt. I ought to use Headbutt in other places, too. You should. <sighs> okay, so let's use that potion. We do have potions now, too. Okay, so Lucky, you are not lucky right now. And I don't want to talk to you right now. I really don't. Stop talking to me. Okay, up here. Come on. Somebody come down from that tree. Anybody. And that looks like it's a big plus. So, who do we have? Uh, hoo Hoo! Well, Hoo Hoo do fall off of this. Um, believe it or not, in the morning time, Hoo Hoo do come out of this tree, but they are fall they are asleep. So, you know, that, that would actually give you an advantage of trying to capture a Pokemon. Light Hoo Hoo. Alright, let's put Teddy on, on the fur- on, in front, I should say. And I think we are done with this place right here, I think. Let's see. Yes, we are. We're done. Alrighty, so the repels effect wore off. Talk to this lady. Did you see the shrine honoring the protector? It watches over the forest from across time. I think that it must be a grass type Pokemon. It should be. It probably should be. Okay, so go right here. Talk to this lady right here. He's like, oh, honey, you're making a Pokedex. It must be hard. Uh, it must be hard if Pokemon won't appear. Try using this H or TM, TM12, which is sweet scent. It, it, it can make, you know, it, it does lure Pokemon. It does. 
Okay, so we're going to stop right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going north straight to Goldenrod City, but we will be betting a lot of trainers. So I hope you guys are excited for that one right there. So stay tuned, guys. I'll be back in just a little bit. Thank <laughs> you.